heavyweight championship fight between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Dustin Poirier. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. But whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping wondering why why did i not engage him in this game look at you dropping a submission on us huh ah it's crazy blocks that strike now he's going to try to attack kimura here the kimura is not the arm it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes him tap he might get a finish here Chase the submission finish. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Ready? Ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance we'll see if he can get it done tonight yes he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC guys can generally do everything but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player he wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission this striker needs to maintain the space he needs to make sure he is not on the ground avoid it at all costs Might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, feet on the hips here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Five minutes in the books.
Come on, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, DC is back from the concession Ready? stand Pop as we get in. our next round underway, and you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet. In the oh, he did a great job of just being active, really setting down on those right hands, showing that it was not only going to be striking, but a lot of significant strikes landed over the course of that round. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Well, and anytime you're above 50%, you got to feel pretty good about that landing with 56% accuracy against Dustin Poirier. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. out now. Well, you see all the graphing repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack on bar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. It's in there deep. There you go. Submits him with the armbar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Charles Oliveira! He got him! Woo! Yeah, that's about as good as he's looked in the grappling realm, and he stayed focused on the armbar. He kept going back to the well for it, and ultimately, in the middle of this fight, he gets the tap. That is a big finish for that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Arena. All right, so he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big